Hey, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Hamburg career, the third and final season. And today the treble quest continues and we're getting into the knockout rounds of the Champions League. The round of 16 is upon us and our first opponent is going to be Arsenal. And while that may not be very intimidating, I I've played them plenty of times before, but I've never played them in the Champions League and in my experience, Arsenal wins the Champions League maybe more than any other team that I have seen over the last couple variations of FIFA. I mean, they're very, very successful in FIFA in the Champions League. So they are a definite, definite threat to us. And we're going to have our best team out there and ready to go against them. We got maybe a small glimpse of what to expect from them as far as their lineup goes in that little press conference thing. There are no new players in there. But again, like I said, I've never faced them in the Champions League. And we're off to the Emirates for this first leg. Now, as far as team selection goes, if you remember back to the last episode, I was kind of debating whether or not we were going to go with Martial up top or maybe drop him back into one of the midfield roles and put Bobby Wood up top as he banged a hat trick last episode, I think, in a domestic cup match. So he was scoring goals. Martial was not. But you know what? He's our guy. He has 19 goals this season. I'm going to bet on him having a big, big match here against Arsenal. He's played against them before as well, coming over from Manchester United. He knows what he's up against. As does, as does Gabriel Jesus. I expect him to have a good game as well. So I'm going to roll with our two big guys up top. Bobby Wood can come off the bench if we need him late in this one. I'm just looking for a clean sheet, hopefully, and possibly one away goal as well. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Arsenal. And... Unfortunately, that that little glimpse we got in the press conference of their starting or of their lineup, that's not their starting 11. They have a couple of new players. They have Angel Correa, who's a very very good attacking midfielder. Varane, obviously know him and Oblak as well in goal. So, uh decent team to say the least. Decent team from Arsenal. Here we go. Pulisic is in. Pulisic nicely done. Cross that ball back in there for Martial. Was an eyelash away from heading that home come on boys that was a really really good start arsenal is well, just trying to pass the ball through us at this point and they're not doing a bad job oh i got the wrong side of alexis sanchez how did welbeck score that and of course it's welbeck in case you don't know welbeck scores every time i play against him but that ball it looked like it literally went through our goalkeeper who i who burn leno I, I couldn't remember his name Honestly, I'm so freaking pissed. Look at that. That's such an easy shot to stop. It was low right at him. Here we go, Grimaldo. Nice ball. Beautifully worked. Can we get this ball over the top? Martial running onto it. Martial gets to it. It's going to go wide. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everything, everything's just a fraction off for us right now. Nice pass there. Yes, Emery Chan. Getting through. Emery Chan has the shot. Emery Chan bangs it home. Emery Chan has been all over the place today in this match. He's easily been our best player so far. Getting forward at will and aiding the attack. This time he just does it himself. A little bit of high pressure from him. Just takes the ball away from a defender and gets by another. And puts it home nicely. Man, Emery Chan, what a game from him. I wasn't expecting him to step up in this one, but I'm glad he did. We've been a little bit off. Like I've been saying, we've been a little bit off in this game. Emery Chan is not. We got the equalizer. We've got a bit of a counterattack here. What are we going to do with it? Let's play it out wide. And it's going to be Grimaldo. Grimaldo. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. But that might actually work. It's for Gabriel Jesus and he bangs it home. Martial and Jesus linking up right there. Oh, I knew one of them would have to step up in this game. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Ooh, what a finish off the post and in on a sweet little counterattack. And we've got the lead. 2-1, 30 minutes left to play. Let's go, boys. Let's hang on to this lead. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Angel Correa scores. I'm not actually sure how they got that chance right there. I thought we defended that pretty well. Brooks nearly intercepted that pass, and I thought Sulu was going to intercept that one. What a finish from Angel Correa. That one, that one Leno could do nothing about. I can't blame him for that. That was so unfortunate. So unfortunate. All right, well, our lead lasted seven minutes. That's okay. We have if we, if we go back 
to our place, back home, with a with a 2-2 two -two draw. That's fine. We have two away goals. I'd be actually pretty happy with that. Oh, this could be a small problem here. Perea is up the wing. That's... That's 3-2. Nobody marked Alexis Sanchez. This game is insane. All right, we got 12 minutes. Now we kind of do need a goal. We, we really, really need to get another one. Good Lord. I thought that ball was going to nobody, but what was Grimaldo doing back post? He was marking nobody. He didn't pick up Alexis Sanchez at all. We have a little bit of time left. Maybe enough time for one more attack. Bobby Wood, I need you to make the run. Nope. I see Gabriel Jesus, though. That's a great ball forward. Jesus, play it in. Bobby Wood, he's going to have to hold it up. Bobby Wood turns with it. Bobby Wood plays it back for Jesus. No. That wasn't to the right player. And that's going to be the end of the game. Oh, I should have just shot it with Bobby Wood. Why did I think passing in the 18-yard box was a good idea in that situation? I don't know. I, that was never going to go to the right player. Come out of the Emirates with a 3-2 loss. I told you, Arsenal are a problem in the Champions League. They just play 10 times better than their actual ability. All right. So our next match is going to be back at home. And this time we're taking on Hoffenheim. I got a slightly rotated lineup in there, but I think it's still good enough to be able to beat Hoffenheim. At least I pray that it, it should be. I'm, fa I'm fairly confident in this team. And uh, yeah, there it is, 3-0. Jesus, again, scores, scored twice. Martial comes off the bench and scores a goal. Not too bad, but we'll have to check on that injury to Emery Moore. All right, well, it's, it's, it's not worst case scenario, but it's definitely a problem for us. Emery Moore's gonna be gone for eight weeks with a torn quad. So he shouldn't be done for the rest of the season. He should be back at some point, but filling in for him is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Our next match is going to be at home once again. This time we're taking on Frankfurt. This time we have the full strength team. I've decided to go with Christo as the primary replacement for Embry Moore. And I've switched uh, Pulisic back over to the right-hand side. We'll see how that goes. But again, I expect a win in this one. 4-0. That's, that, that, that's pretty much what I expected to happen. All right, so now we are away to Augsburg. And with Arsenal coming up again in three days, we're going to give this one to the reserves. They're going to have to go out there and pull something together for us. I I'm looking for... I mean, we can possibly win this game. It's still a very, very good team. And we got Bobby Wood up top. He should be all right. But honestly, if we, if we get a point from this, I'd be pretty happy. Augsburg is kind of around mid-table. So it's definitely a game that's winnable, but... All right, here we go. Kick off against Augsburg. Some of the players in there today don't get a lot of playing time. Like Ferrati, I think he has like one appearance all season long. And Van Bergen doesn't get many minutes either. So now it's a chance for them to step up and uh, maybe work their way into my plans for the rest of the season. That was a good ball. And Ferrati's not going to... That was actually a pretty decent... I'll give him that. That was actually pretty decent for that finish. Klein for Ferrati. Ferrati's working his way through again. Oh, good stop for Ferrati. Opens himself up. Didn't get enough power on the shot, but Ferrati's been lively early in this game. Bobby Wood playing it through for Ferrati again. Ferrati this time is holding it up. He's doing a really good job. Oh, Bobby Wood's offside. He missed the shot anyway, but... Oh, we should be beat. We should be winning this game. We're dominating the early, early going here against Augsburg. We should be. We should have a goal by now. To give in there. Wood. Quick pass for Wallace. Wallace for Ferrati, this time in a better shooting position. Again, can't quite get the finish. Man, how have we not scored? Yes, Van Bergen, big tackle up the pitch. We've got numbers forward as well. Van Bergen playing it forward for Ferrati. Good Lord, somebody scored a damn goal. What is going on? Wait, what is going on? What did I miss? What just happened? Oh, wow, Rinwald, who's been very good for them, the only good part of their team so far in this game just got red carded i don't think he actually touched ferrati i'm pretty sure the goalkeeper wiped him out and he was making a play on the i don't know why that's a red card or a penalty but okay we'll take it bobby wood steps up bobby wood buries it into the upper 90 there's the goal what is that how do you do that oh no wow burn leno thank you good save I hate that, that they, they, they take that touch and then they do an instant drag back and it absolutely dicks me over. Here we go. Ball forward. Bobby Wood. Plays it over. Okay, Ferrati. You've got to you've got to score. Ferrati, you are just you are so freaking bad! How have you not scored a goal yet? He's had like nine shots. That one was one-on-one. -on -one. 
Ooh, gets around one. Nicely done. Nicely played. Ferrati waiting on the overlap of Van Bergen, who continued his run. And again, the, the finishing on this team, man. That's the, This team is unbelievably effective at getting in on goal. Unbelievably bad at scoring. They just can't get a good finish off to save their lives. All right, this is it. This has got to be the last chance of the game. The ball falls. Bobby Wood gets rid of it, clears it up the field, and that is it. Game over. How is that one? Now, hold on. Let me let me look at the stats. Screw the replays. Get out of the replays. Look at the stats from this game. 14 shots, 11 on target. They didn't have a shot until the second half. That was pure and utter domination. The only goal we scored was off a very, very questionable penalty call. How do we not score something from open play? All right, so now we are set for this second leg against Arsenal. And I'm not going to lie, I'm actually fairly worried about this. I, I said that Arsenal was going to be good. I had never played them in the Champions League before, but I expected something pretty decent out of them. That was far and beyond what I was expecting. That was the scariest damn thing I've seen so far this season. Hopefully, we're back at home here. We can have that kind of performance against them. We can turn the tables. We need to win by at least one here and hold them to less than two goals. That, that's the ideal situation. That'll put us through. We know what we have to do. We got to get the job done. The starting 11's fully rested and ready to go. Let's do it. All right. Kick off against Arsenal. They've made no changes to their starting 11. Not surprised with the, how effective it was against us. I wouldn't have made any changes either, so I know exactly what to expect from them. It's just up to us to stop them. Oh my god, are you serious? No, no, no. No, Yedlin! Referee! No foul on that! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that was such a risky slide tackle. And then Leno saves it. Why was there no foul there? Whoever that was slid right through the back of Yedlin and took him out. I, I, I'm assuming it was well back. Could have been Bellerin. I'm not sure, but... There should have been a foul there. All right, come on, boys. Let's work something from this. That's not really what I wanted to do there. Martial. Oh, Martial! That's that's a good shot for him. That's a good look. Anything inside the 18-yard box is a good look for Martial. Go ahead, Martial. Jesus, make the run. Jesus, go ahead. Jesus. Holding it up. Still Jesus. Now playing it for Martial. There it is. No, I should have taken a touch. I panicked. I should have taken a touch there. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't, we don't want any crosses here. Don't guard the wings with your life. Not Welbeck. Thank God Leno made a save there. Welbeck. I just saw my life flash before my eyes. Good strength tackle from Grimaldo. Pasolic looking. Pasolic, it's through. Capital Jesus, you gotta put it away! And Capital Jesus does! What happened to the Arsenal defense back there? I have no idea. They literally just parted. And Jesus ran straight up the gut, unmarked. And he's not missing from right there. Oh, thank God we finally found that goal. I don't know where Arsenal went there, but I'll take it. I don't care. It's three all on aggregate, but we are ahead on away goals now. All right, we have a corner. It's out here for Pulisic. I'm just going to wait and pull them out a little bit. Martial keep forgetting he's on corners. I don't want him on corners. Emre Chan, Welbeck, what a tackle. Oh, Chan, actually, across for Jesus! He put it home! Welbeck, fuck, I don't know if that was Welbeck. That might have been Gibbs. I, I don't really know who had the ball there, but Emre Chan didn't give up on it. He came from behind and took it away, and Jesus finishes again. That's three goals in two games against Arsenal for Jesus. It was Welbeck that screwed it up. A little bit of a tug on the shirt there from Emery Chan. We're not going to talk about that. It's 2-0 over Arsenal. Is that the one? Is that going to do it? That might be it. Well, that's a great ball forward for Jesus. Turning it inside. Jesus. That's it. Ref blows a whistle right there. I'm pretty sure we had Martial through for the third goal. He was turning. He was gone. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. We don't need it. We do the job. We keep the clean sheet I was looking for in that first leg. I don't know how they put three on us. That was very, very unexpected. But, I mean, kudos to them. They, they came out and played very well against us. Took us by surprise a little bit. I might have underestimated them a little bit. Just a little bit. I knew they were going to be good. Didn't expect them to be that good. But Jesus is the hero. He is the hero in this one. Two goals for him and a 2-0 win. 
We move forward 3-4, or 4-3, on aggregate. Alright, well, that was a little bit stressful. Not gonna lie, I was, I was very, very, very worried heading into that second leg against Arsenal. The way they played in that first leg, I wasn't sure, even if we got the goals we needed, if there was gonna be a way to stop that offense. That was downright scary, but the tactics I put in place worked very, very well. Stop the crosses at all costs, double the wingers, that's what we did, and we shut down their offense altogether. That was very, very nicely done. They had a couple of chances, to be fair, but we did very well. And Leno came up with actual saves in that one. He didn't save a single thing in the first leg. So, tactically, perfect from us, and we move through into the next leg, or in the next round of the Champions League. And in the league, we now sit six points clear of Schalke, but they're doing very well, man. Any slip-up from us... They will be right on our heels, as will Dortmund and Bayern. I think the only two Bundesliga teams to move through in the Champions League, though, is us and Schalke. Schalke knocked out Manchester United. Bayern got knocked out by Juventus. So, it's just us and Schalke left in the Champions League as well. So, Schalke's good. And I think we play them on the last match day of the season. Or maybe it's Bayern. We play them the last two games. Schalke and Bayern. I'm not sure what order it's going to be in. But, it could come down to one of those last two games. We'll have to wait and see, but the trouble, most importantly, is still on. So, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back for some more Hamburg career. See ya.